Monday 27th of September, let's see what we've got today. Um, we've got eight orders on um, Bricklink for 172 lots there. Then on Brick Owl, we've got six orders for oh, uh, 65 lots. And then on eBay, we have got 22 items on eBay to ship. So eBay has been um, pretty good. Um, presume that's a result of the Marvel minifigures. Um, but we'll check that out in a little while. And uh, I'll get all of these packed and uh, out the door. It looks like someone's doing a spot of Lego gardening here. Um, they've bought um, four of almost every colour of the various petals I've got. That's the five uh, leaf petal and this uh, four one as well. And then um, lots of sort of leaf uh, limb elements, uh, mostly white, but then they've bought uh, a couple of each of the lime olive green dark brown etc and a few of the odds and suds there um i always like the gardening type stuff or the, anything to do with landscaping um always really intrigued to see what they do with this so a uh, nice little order so we've picked up a few bonus orders on brick link and brick owl um so the lot count has gone up to 204 um for 180 pound 70 and the orders on bricklink has gone up to nine for uh, 80 lots and a, a, another uh, 100 pounds or so and that includes um this last order off to japan this has just come in this is for the last five of my orange um classic spacemen uh minifigures which is um a nice little uh bonus order really easy to pick and um send off to japan today so it's tuesday the 28th of september and uh let's take a look at what we've got um just four orders on bricklink um for um let's have a look uh 25 items so really easy to pick those and then on brick owl uh just four orders and what have we got on ebay uh ebay um okay so we've sold a, a sealed set here and two other items uh have been paid for as well so um those should be really quick to get um picked and then uh, lots of other stuff to get on with today. Um, got some um, parts to get away here. Some uh, pink. This is the um, remnants of the classic brick boxes. So we've got pinks and these sort of lime greens, etc. to get put away. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. Also, um, just got a couple of um ebay orders in um this um i picked up mostly because of this guy um which is a nice figure goes for a a reasonable price probably 12 quid or, or so and i do have a, a set of bagpipes for him um so i've got those set aside and he'll be listed probably uh, back again on on eBay. Um, some other uh, things in here. Um, I'll check whether I've got the parts to make these up or may break a couple of them down for um, parts. Uh, but I'll check those out in a little while. And the other order is this one. A um, few bits of Star Wars, some Ninjago superheroes uh, mr freeze there arctic batman um so a few uh decent figures and i think what i noticed in this was that um on initial look they didn't look complete but i'm sure his his helmet is there to go with him 
uh, these um, are, are mixed around so he's got the wrong he's got the wrong helmet on that should go with that so I think that actually mostly um, complete figures um, with the odd thing missing um, sure I've got a helmet um, for this guy um, so a couple of nice little eBay orders didn't cost a fortune um, and most of that will end up going back on eBay as individual figures so this is the seal set that's sold. This is uh, 75215. It's the Cloud Rider Swoop Bikes. Um, went for about £43. So um, not an enormous rise on um, its initial value. Probably paid about uh, 20 25 quid for this at, at the time. But um, just, you know, helps clearing the shelves off it's just sat there being sat there for uh, a year or two now as it is so get that one out the door and a um, few more bits to get parted out so um we're probably going to start on this uh maybe today maybe tomorrow um we'll see uh, but lots and lots to do so i uh, better get on with it so I'm just refilling the cup of the uh, dividers that I use, the draw dividers uh, for the Rayco units. So it, I have a draw, for instance, it allows me to separate the draw into three or even more um, compartments. I'd never do more than three, uh, to be honest. And I've got tons of these, bought the whole a uh, lot of them, uh, lots of here, there's about 20, 20 packs or so in here still to use. And um, I really can't recommend um, enough investing in these because a lot of people skimp on them because they're not cheap, um, but they maximise your storage, you know, so you can convert one drawer to three different compartments for three different types of parts. And I know we can throw lots of parts in one drawer, and I've I've done that in the past um, when I've been short on um, dividers, and these I need to separate out. But it's so much nicer to have them compartmentalized, and um, it just makes it much cleaner, much more efficient for picking, and uh, can't recommend it enough. I'm currently watching the eBay Open uh, UK 2021 sessions. Just got them running in background while I am picking and packing orders and uh, just trying to pick up some tips. This one is on advanced uh, retail standards, um, telling you what you need to become a, an advanced seller on eBay. I'm already a top rated seller, um, but for some reason, although my listings don't qualify for the 10% discount that you get. So I'm clearly missing an option that I should be uh, choosing for one of my delivery options or something like that. Uh, so just watching lots of these sessions, just trying to pick up various tips along the way and improve my eBay game. So just received another uh, parcel in the post. I think this is another uh, eBay uh, win. Can't remember what it was to be quite honest with you. So we've got this instruction booklet in here, and uh, let's just tip, tip this. Up, I guess. So what do we have? I'll just move that out of the way. So we've got some mini figs in here. Uh, goblin there. Um, Batman uh, with the money suit. Um, this is the, I um, can't remember his name, but it's out of The Incredibles, and it's a decent figure, goes for probably six, seven pounds. Uh, a few other bits and bobs in there, Mrs. Incredible in there, and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, there's a joker there, and... Robin, uh, Robin in there as well. So a few figures there. Um, I'll get those sorted out and um, listed back on eBay or in the store. Just sold one of these tracer figures from uh, Overwatch. 
uh, which is great. I've actually sold a couple of these in the last week or so. Um, the only thing is, um, still got quite a few to go. Um, these and um, the other figure, I can't remember what this one's called, both came out of the massive batch of Overwatch sets that I bought um, oh, months ago now. Um, the parts are really good, but the figures are pretty slow moving. But nice to see that this is starting to move. And I have also sold a couple of these ones uh, lately as well. So a um, bit of a long game with them, but um, they'll go eventually. This is the latest of the sealed sets to uh, sell. Uh, this on eBay again. It's uh, 75229, a Death Star Escape. And I'm pretty sure this is another drop shipper because they sent me a message after buying the, um, the, the set to double box it, which is a big indicator to, to me that they wanna make sure, you know, it arrives in, in great condition. And that's typical of the dropshippers in particular. I mean, I guess that collectors might do that as well. Um, but looking at the address and everything, I suspect it's it's another uh, dropshipper. So um, just shows again that um, listing sets this time of year is, uh, is a good uh, tactic with the Christmas period coming up. People are already starting to buy Christmas presents. So I'm just about to do another upload, uh, another um, 6,000 parts uh, for a value of £289.50, um, ready to go up to the store. And currently, before upload, I'm sat at 305.327. So that's going to take me over the 310 mark. So that'll be a nice little step and then um i've got some more stuff to part out here we've got um this is part of um seven sets along with this lot of the uh friends um it's friends set uh four one six eight seven it's this um this kind of magic theme that they've got going on with friends at the moment and those had a decent part of value so those will be getting uh uploaded later to, later today as well printers just run out of uh labels here so i need to put a new label in um these are free from royal mail if you're a business customer and i'm using my zebra gk 420d and um I'm not sure I can do this one-handed, to be honest with you. Um, but um, this lifts up. And I need to take off the tape here from the raw paper. Right, got that free. Then I need to fit this in between in between the rollers here and feed it into those little grooves there put that down press the roller button and then it will just pick up from where it left off here's a little order from someone who I think is an Exonites fan not only have they bought this Nexo Knights foil pack, but they've bought pretty much every colour of shield that I had in stock. Um, they've also bought a few Nexo Knights torsos, and um, they have bought a few other collectible uh, minifigures, and uh, nicely they've also bought one of each of the Overwatch figures, which I mentioned previously in another video. So, um don't really get an awful lot of Nexo Knights fans, so this is a nice little order. So just got this parcel uh, from UPS, from Amazon. It's come from the US though. So I ordered this on the US uh, Amazon website. And I did that because it's the only place I can actually, <laughs> I can actually get these. And um, I 
was lucky in that I had a voucher on uh, Amazon.com um, because of some surveys I'd done in the past. And um, let me just get the box over. Um, and, um, and so that made it really cheap for me to pick up. And I've seen uh, this being used a lot in other vlogs, but us in the UK just can't get these at all. Um, but, and I wanted to try one out. So um, let me see if I can get the tape off and I'll show you what it is. You can probably guess by now. And it is, oh, it's all boxed up um, even more, but it, it is one of the sorting trays that you'll have seen used on Pops Block Shop or uh, Ralph's Bricks and lots of other uh, sellers again. So let, let me just uh, take this cellophane off and, and get it out. So there we go, it's the easy uh, sorter tray. And you know, it's just, um, yeah, just a basic uh, plastic tray with a nice uh, funnel in there. It's a decent size. Um, so it's, I'll just put it on top of my laptop there just to give some sort of scale to it and it's going to be really useful um they're quite cheap if you're in the us so they're about eight dollars or something like that so they're cheap if you're in the us you can get them shipped to you but shipping and customs etc to the uk was a bit of a pain um so i actually paid about eight pounds for this because i had the voucher which covered the cost of the actual tray etc and i just thought i'd try one i was tempted to get quite a few of them um and maybe even re resell them here uh, but um i just went with the one in the end just to see what it's like and i'm looking forward to uh, giving it a spin putting it through its paces went to uh, argos yesterday and um picked up um four of this set this is uh the friends 41689 uh it's another of these sort of fairground themed sets um this was 50 percent off um normally retails for about 55 pound and was 27.50 um so there's a few other things on uh offer in argos but i didn't uh bother with any of those just got the uh, four of these which uh, we're going to get parted out now and uh, get put into the store and here it is all parted out uh, into these two trays that's the four sets took about uh, 45 minutes or so to get that parted out but um, a lot of as with all friends a lot of um, purples and uh, magentas and lavenders and, and what have you but a lot of a lot of white a lot of black gray um so still uh some uh, very useful parts in there and at 50 percent off I, I couldn't pass them by so i just uploaded 2240 uh parts to the store which was the last of the creative uh, brick boxes so they're all completely finished now um but i've now just about to upload um one of the friend sets um this was 41687 and i think i had seven of these so that's another two and a half thousand um parts going to be going in to the store so um let me um just update my file so it's two six four five so two six four five in 162 lots for 308 so that's 308592. These are all new parts. Make sure I get the decimal point in there. And then 
I know what my starting inventory is because I've just um, updated it two minutes ago. So it is the three one two four five one, and I know that my starting lot count is eight two two seven. So let's get these uploaded. I've just uh, priced them all, so make sure they're all selected. And then get them ready to upload. And this is one of the things I like ab about working with Brickstock. You can just fiddle about with the file as as long as you want and then when you're ready to upload then i just hit the upload i don't even really check these uh too much i just check that the the number the lots etc are about right click upload and then i'm gonna immediately send out wanted list notifications so that anyone who's got any of those items on their list is gonna get notified uh that those parts are um, available now and if I just check my inventory now so we're now at a new high 315,096 and uh, still got more to go into the store sat on my table waiting to be parted out um, which is going to um, increase this even further this is a great example of why I don't particularly like showing the number of orders that I've got each morning because I don't feel like it's a realistic um, reflection on on what really happens. So, for instance, when I went to bed um, last night, I, I checked my orders and um, believe it or not, I had nothing on BrickLink and nothing on BrickOwl. Um, I did have one order um, for three items on eBay um, for a reasonable amount. Um, but then throughout uh, today, these, um, what, eight orders uh, have, have come in, uh, seven, eight orders have come in, uh, plus the eBay one, and um, uh, come in for just 98 lots, not, not a huge amount. But it just shows a very different picture to what it would have been had I showed this first thing this morning. Now, I've still got zero on Brick Owl for today. And uh, Brick Owl is just um, weird. It, it just seems to just die occasionally. You know, everything seems to fall off. There's there's no orders and then suddenly there's a, there's a rush of them. So I'm not really quite sure what's going on with uh, with with Brick Owl, um, but just wanted to to, to show that um, we should really judge ourselves on the order count we have at the end of the day, uh, rather than looking at the beginning. It's finally happened. Today there are no orders on Brick Link, and no orders on Brick Owl. Hmm. Thankfully, um, eBay is eight items uh, to ship. So eBay is holding the fort at the moment. Um, don't know what's going on with Bricklink and, and Brick Owl. Hopefully it'll be like yesterday where um, there was nothing early doors, but then throughout the day orders kept coming in. Um, but we'll see. A couple of things just arrived in the post. Um, let's take a quick look. If I can get it out, that is. Trying to do things one-handed is always a big problem. Um, but of course, this is the latest uh, Blocks magazine uh, with the Marvel minifig series on the front. Um, keep subscribing to this but um uh you know i do kind of enjoy reading it but now that i'm not really you know doing lego as a hobby i'm not building it um it's slightly diminished in in interest but it's really good um i suppose for keeping up to date with what people are interested in 
uh, what new sets are coming out, etc. Um, so um, I do keep subscribing to it and it looks uh, a, a decent issue. So uh, we'll enjoy reading that over the weekend. And then here um, we've got an order um, from um, eBay. And I've all I've done is slit the top off. I haven't um, tipped anything out to see what's in. But what I did notice, just have a look at this. So this is how you get your orders packed. Everything just dumped into a jiffy bag. Um, no, um, yeah, no other packing. I mean, okay, the jiffy bags padded and Lego is a hard material, but even so, I'd expect a little better packing than that. So let's see what we've got here. So is that everything? No, not quite. I think that is everything now. Um, some items in a in a bag there, which I will get out in a little while. But uh, yeah, nice little minifig there, and uh, a couple of other things in there as well. Um, but in here, and I, I possibly paid too much for this, um, possibly. Um, but I was interested in it interested in a couple of things that I saw in this pile that I thought were worth a little bit and I can see them right on the top here um, these are the mermaid minifigures from the Pirates of the Caribbean sets and I, as far as I recall these go for you know quite a reasonable uh, price and when I say reasonable I mean you know 18 to 20 pounds something like like that so um these are hopefully uh good figures and they look to be in really good condition actually and there's also uh this figure from the pirates of the caribbean and i'm sure that the um the dress that goes with that is in there as well um here's another good minifigure this is about you know 15 to 18 quid i would say there's a, a rocket that's another eight pound probably um so some good good stuff in here and some you know generic sort of um collectible minifigs some things that aren't quite right of course like this that will need sorting out but um hopefully um i'll easily more than make uh, my money back on that little lot so looking forward to uh getting uh, sorting that out and uh, getting some of that listed. I'm in the process of going through that last batch of uh, minifigures that I got and pulled out a couple of um, complete ones already. Uh, so this is the Graduate Collectible Minifig Series. This is the uh, Fisherman. No rod, unfortunately, for him. So we do have a green fish somewhere to go with him if necessary. Uh, this is the mummy. Uh, managed to complete one of the mermaids, um, which is good. Um, the other one, uh, which is uh, this one, um, I've just ordered, or I'm in the process of um, adding the parts to my wanted list so this is the hair to complete the minifigure and um i can get a new one for 70p uh which isn't bad on a minifigure that goes for approximately um what about 15 quid to 20 quid and uh also there's a head there that i've added to my list too uh so gonna continue to go through these there's lots more that look to be complete um as i pointed out earlier and there's a few more arctic batman and um there's some uh, little bits of star wars things there that need to be completed uh and then there's lots of random sort of uh torsos and things that i'm going to need to go through in a bit more detail something to keep me busy for an hour or two and um uh, see what i've got in stock myself uh, in my used parts to complete these and others I'll get ordered. 
Amazon drivers just been and dropped off two packages uh, for me. Um, it's 7.45 in the evening now, so it's uh, quite late arriving and I've been waiting for them all day, but it's okay because this is really a weekend project and not specifically related um, to the store although it will improve things for me hopefully and um it is if i can get this out it's quite heavy bear with me oh it is um a set of uh you uh euro or euro however you say it uh pro six routers and I'll tell you what, uh, they're bloody expensive. <laughs> they uh, they only came out in the UK yesterday. Um, I got an email. I've been waiting for them for ages, to be honest with you, because I know these have been out in the US for probably the best part of the year. And these give you great um, Wi-Fi speeds uh, in the house. And my uh, Wi-Fi gear is a little bit old now. I'm using an, uh, an Apple AirPort Extreme with my Sky um, uh, modem and it's okay but since we had the extension done um we've got a couple of areas in the house that that get an okay signal but just every now and then the tv starts buffering and i need to reboot the router and and things like that so i've been waiting to to do an upgrade uh to these and hoping that we're going to get massively increased speed so this is what i'm going to be doing at the weekend and there's another little box here just to accompany it which is if i can get it out of the box a, a little uh switch um that will go on the main one of these and this will feed um um all of the tv uh surround sound um blu-ray disc player apple tv etc um that's the plan anyway um now I've actually ordered some Cat7 cables to go with this as well that I ordered too late last night and they're not going to come till tomorrow. So I'm going to wait until I get those cables in and then I'm going to get this all set up and hopefully my speeds in the house are going to go through the roof compared to what they do today. So um, not particularly looking forward to actually doing this but looking forward to uh, the result once it's done.